As children, we were told stories about the universe and our reality. Fascinating stories, full of magic and mystery. However, many of these stories were just myths, misconceptions, or even oversimplifications created to explain the unexplainable to a young mind. Today, on Universo, I bring you 10 lies about the universe and our reality that you probably still believe. Buckle up, because what you're about to discover may change how you see the cosmos forever. One, the sun is a ball of fire. When we think of the sun, we often picture an immense fire burning in the sky. This concept stems from our experience with fire, a source of light and heat that we know on Earth. But the sun does not burn like a typical flame. Instead of consuming oxygen, like a campfire, the sun operates through nuclear fusion. In its core, hydrogen atoms combine to form helium under extreme pressure and temperature, releasing colossal amounts of energy in the process. This phenomenon generates the light and heat that make life on our planet possible. Moreover, fire as we know it cannot exist in space because there's no oxygen to sustain it. The sun's energy comes from subatomic reactions, far more powerful than any earthly blaze. This process is not only more efficient, but also explains why the sun can remain active for billions of years. Thinking of the sun as a ball of fire is a simplification that underestimates the magnitude of the physical processes at work. Two, there's no gravity in space. The idea that space is a place without gravity is one of the most common and inaccurate beliefs. This misunderstanding largely comes from images of astronauts floating in the International Space Station. But in reality, gravity exists throughout the universe. The astronauts are in a state of constant free fall around Earth. This microgravity state creates the sensation of weightlessness, although they are still under the influence of Earth's gravitational pull. In fact, gravity is one of the most omnipresent forces in the universe. From holding galaxies together to determining the trajectories of planets, gravity acts everywhere. If you were truly in a zero-gravity location like deep space, your very molecules would begin to disperse as nothing would hold them together. So next time you see an astronaut floating, remember they're not in a place without gravity. They're experiencing it differently. Three, black holes are cosmic vacuum cleaners. When we hear about black holes, we often imagine voracious entities that suck up everything in their path. But this is a huge exaggeration. Black holes don't function like cosmic vacuum cleaners. Rather, their extreme gravity only affects objects that come close enough to cross their event horizon, the point of no return. Outside of that region, a black hole is no more dangerous than any other massive object in the universe. For example, if our sun were to become a black hole, which is impossible due to its size. Its gravity within the solar system would remain the same, and the planets would continue orbiting as they do now. What makes black holes so fascinating is the distortion they cause in space-time, not their ability to devour everything around them. It's time to demystify their terrifying image and understand them as an awe-inspiring cosmic phenomenon. For the universe has a center. This idea feels intuitive. If the universe began with the Big Bang, then there must be a place where it happened, right? But this concept doesn't apply to the cosmos. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in a specific location. It was an expansion that occurred everywhere at once. There is no center of the universe because every point in space is moving away from every other due to this expansion. To imagine it, think of a balloon inflating. The points on its surface move apart as the balloon grows. But there's no single point on the balloon that is the center of the expansion. The universe works similarly, though in three dimensions. This concept challenges our everyday understanding of space and distance, but is fundamental to comprehending the nature of our cosmos. Five, Mars is red. Mars is famously called the red planet, but this description is at best incomplete. While it appears red from afar, due to iron oxide on its surface reflecting sunlight in a particular way. If you were to walk on Mars, you'd find a landscape with hues ranging from orange and brown to beige. Additionally, 
Mars' thin atmosphere and dust storms contribute to the reddish tint we perceive. The redness of Mars is more an optical effect than an absolute truth. This reminds us that many things in space aren't exactly as they seem from a distance. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to join the family of universe. 6. Asteroids are constant threats to Earth. Movies and documentaries have instilled in us a fear of asteroids, those rogue space rocks that could destroy our planet in an instant. While asteroids can be dangerous, catastrophic impacts are extremely rare. Most asteroids reside in the stable asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, far from Earth's orbit. Moreover, near-Earth asteroids are constantly monitored by space agencies like NASA, giving us decades of warning for any potential collision. Events like the one that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs are real, but they happened millions of years ago. The likelihood of a similar event in our time is minimal. Furthermore, technologies like the DART mission are being developed to deflect potentially hazardous asteroids. So while it's wise to stay prepared, the constant fear of asteroids is more fiction than reality. 7. The moon's dark side never sees light. The term dark side of the moon evokes images of a hemisphere perpetually shrouded in shadow, but this isn't true. The moon has one side always facing Earth due to tidal locking. However, both hemispheres receive sunlight during its rotation. The dark side simply refers to the side we cannot see from Earth, not one that is eternally dark. In fact, the far side of the moon experiences day and night cycles just like the near side. This myth likely originated because, for centuries, we couldn't observe the far side until space missions mapped it. Now we know its terrain is just as fascinating, though rougher and without the large seas of lava found on the near side. 8. The universe is completely dark. The image of a pitch black, empty cosmos dominates our imagination. But space is far from a dark void. While space may appear black, it's filled with background radiation, light remnants of the Big Bang that permeate every corner of the cosmos. Known as the cosmic microwave background radiation, this light is invisible to our eyes but detectable with special instruments. Additionally, the universe is teeming with stars, nebulae, and galaxies emitting light across various wavelengths. If our eyes could perceive more than the visible spectrum, we'd see a vibrant cosmic tapestry of gamma rays, infrared, and ultraviolet light. Space is much more alive and colorful than we perceive. 9. Time is the same everywhere in the universe. As children, we learn that time is constant, flowing equally for everyone. But Einstein's relativity tells a different story. Time is flexible and depends on gravity and velocity. Near a massive object like a planet or black hole, time slows down due to the extreme curvature of space-time. This means that time on Earth differs from time in a distant orbit. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been proven with atomic clocks on planes and satellites. Even GPS systems must account for relativistic effects. In the universe, time isn't a universal constant, but a local experience shaped by the conditions around you. 10. The stars we see in the sky are already dead. The poetic notion that the stars we see are long dead is one of those lies that has gained the status of truth. While it's true that the light from stars takes years, centuries, or even millennia to reach us, most of the stars visible to the naked eye are still alive. This is because the brightest stars we see are relatively close and have long life cycles. For instance, Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky, is about 8.6 light years away. Its light takes that long to reach us, but the star is very much alive. Some stars in distant galaxies observed through telescopes might indeed have died, but this isn't the case for the stars we admire nightly. The universe is full of wonders, but also of misconceptions we've accepted without question. These lies, while mostly harmless, show us the importance of exploring, learning, and marveling at the truth. In the end, reality is always more astonishing than any myth. What other ideas about the cosmos are you willing to question after hearing these revelations? Remember, curiosity is the engine of all discovery. If you've made it this far and haven't subscribed yet, 
What are you waiting for? On Universe, you'll find even more quality content, and we'll be thrilled to have you here. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the topic and a like on the video. See you next time.